Hi, my name is Sammy. I run the sales and marketing here at AEA. Today I'm going to talk about the EQ section in the AEA RPQ2 and RPQ500 preamps. For a bit of background, the RPQ2 and RPQ500 preamps were designed with features that bring out the full potential of your ribbon mics, including a massive 81 dB of gain and 63,000 ohms. Both the RPQ2 and RPQ500 preamps include the Curve Shaper EQ circuit, which is a unique high frequency boost that is unlike other EQs in the way it behaves. I use the Curve Shaper EQ in situations where I want to add some presence or air to my source. I use it on ribbons, condensers, and even my two bus mix when I want to add some sweetness to the top end. The Curve Shaper is different than most EQs because the slope and bandwidth vary as the curve frequency and curve gain controls are adjusted. For example, the curve frequency control at its lowest setting will yield a gentler slope and wider bandwidth. As a curve frequency is raised, the slope becomes steeper while the bandwidth narrows. As you can see, the curve frequency denotes a frequency range from 2.5 kHz to 30 kHz. Keep in mind these markings do not indicate what frequency the boost is introduced, but instead indicate the plus 3 dB break frequency when the curve gain is at max. Since the curve frequency and gain controls are interactive, we suggest using your ears when determining what frequency and gain setting sounds best. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.